So many people ask why umbilical cord blood in the resultant stem cells for autism. First of all, there's very few treatments for autism. You have behavioral therapy, you have nutritional therapy, and you have pharmacologic therapy. But there was nothing really that targeted the basic physiologic problem with autism. An autopsy study from the NIH demonstrated that all these kids with autism had neuroinflammation. So once we knew there was a problem in the brain with neuroinflammation, we could start trying to find things that would target the neuroinflammation. And as it turns out, umbilical cord blood and the resulting stem cells inside of it have been shown to target neuroinflammation. And not only turn off neuroinflammation, but to turn on neurorestoration. So what evidence is there that that happens? The landmark study would have been the Duke study of 2019, where they took 25 kids with autism, gave them their own umbilical cord blood, and 60 to 65 percent got significantly better. These were objective studies. They looked at their MRI both before and after the stem cells, and it became more normal. There were more connections in the speech center. They looked at their uh, brain waves, their EEGs. They became more normal after a single dose of of umbilical cord blood. And I think even more importantly, it's been shown to be very safe. There's 80 primary diseases now that the primary treatment is umbilical cord blood in the resultant stem cell. 